Yeah, I wish that I'd had something like this when I was a, uh, a young goalkeeper. Uh, you can only get better by practice and this is the perfect practice equipment for working on many of the aspects of goalkeeping. Catching the ball, uh, diving for the ball, taking high balls, throwing, uh, even kicking. Uh, it's almost limitless what you can do. The rebound is not totally predictable. Uh, in the old days, back in England, uh, in Blackpool on the sea wall, with uh, hewn granite uh, being the material of choice, it was uneven and I got the same effect, but you can't get everyone moving to Blackpool to, use the, to practice their goalkeeping. So with the unpredictability of the rebound, it just makes it that much more uh, of a test uh, and looking for very good reactions and good reactions are the hallmark of a very good goalkeeper. You're looking for quality, maybe no more than four or five or six repetitions and then take a rest. And uh, you can see from the, the video uh, how it improves the footwork, how it encourages uh, uh, good quality work, but it's, uh, it's a terrific piece of equipment. Going the other way, which is going against your right arm a little bit, yeah? Good. Oh, that was sloppy. That's not like you. Come on. Good lad, well done. That's good. And the, the other advantage is as long as you've got enough space, you can do various things. We can see how you can practice your throwing and how Noah improved his throwing uh, on, on the short uh, side of it. He got uh, from 15 yards, he was completely accurate. Went back another five yards and then it's more challenging and that's what they should be doing. So you're challenging yourself all the time. You want to be successful, but if it's becoming easy, then step it up a notch. The uh, things you can do with it are, are limitless. If you go closer to the, the rebounder, you're going to have to have very quick reactions. Uh, if you go further away, uh, it's challenging in terms of accuracy, particularly the throwing. So um, varying the distances will, will produce different effects. Uh, and there's so many things you can do with this uh, tech trainer. For future goalkeepers and for future footballers, uh, it's going to give an opportunity to practice more than they do at the present moment. One of the limitations of being in, in the United States or Canada is you've got so many things to contend with that you really have difficulty in practicing every day. And if you want to become better, you really should be doing it on a daily basis. If it's only in your backyard for 20, 25 minutes, uh, if you could do that, you'd, without any question, you'd become a better goalkeeper or you'd become a better field player.